welcome back to Beginning Maya 2015. So uh, right now we're going to start off in a brand new scene. So go ahead and start up a brand new scene. And we're going to do, actually we're going to learn some more polygon modeling tools. So let's go ahead and start the clock. Um, so what you're going to do first is we're going to go into polygon mode and have polygons up here. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to add things to this actual toolbar. If you look here, this is one that we're going to use and it's actually not in the toolbar. This is the uh, insert edge loop tool. So go into uh, mesh tools. If you want to add to this particular toolbox or toolbar or whatever you want to call it, you're going to go over uh, insert edge loop tool and you're going to get you're going to hit control shift. So that's you're going to click uh, you're gonna hit control shift and then click on it so control shift click on it now you see I have two so yeah there we go now let's go ahead and uh, get started because we're gonna use that a lot we're gonna use uh, these two here so you go ahead and hold middle mouse button the scroll wheel to move it and uh, that's going to uh, allow us to do what we want to do. So here you see that we have a plane. So hit the plane and what you want to do to get it in the center is hit X. Hit and hold X. You'll see that this snap button becomes highlighted when I hold the X key and click right there close to the middle and you'll it'll snap it to the origin and then you're going to hit E, the size tool, and resize it. And then what we're going to do is let's just do a subdivision width of 2 and 2. Actually, let's do a lot. Let's do like uh, 10 and oops. And 10. All right. So now we're going to do a couple things. First, let me show you introduce you to the panels uh, here. So what we're going to want to do actually the show so what we're going to want to do is we want to get rid of the grid so we can see what we're doing. So you go show and you unclick grid. So now we see exactly what we're doing besides, uh, yeah, some stuff's overlaying. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build a landscape. Now, we haven't done any vertice modeling, so let's go ahead and start going over vertices. So you're going to right click and go to the left to vertices and it will allow you to modify the vertices. So the first tool, I mean, yeah, you could create mountains like this, but see how it's like really, really pointy? Not really what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to have a very, very good detail. So let's go ahead and go back in and redo the size. Now imagine trying to do this vertice by vertice or even dragging in you know doing a bounty box wow that is bad right so let me show you the first tool so what we could do here is there's something called soft select so I double clicked on the select tool and I'm gonna enable soft select now what you have here is you see that now we have a um, drop-off and we could change this by doing this guy here and change the drop-off so we could actually do mountains and things like that now let's go ahead and close this and you can do it by uh, volume, surface, global, whatever you want to do. So it depends on whether you're doing like faces or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So for example if I switch this guy now we have an actual mountain. Basically what happens is it creates kind of like a lattice almost and uh, the coloring determines the drop off. So here we have a uh, yellow is 100%, red is like 50%, this is like 25%, and then this is like zero, black is like zero. So as you see here, we could get it to be very, very nice, you know, get the modeling to be exactly what we want. But, oh, and also here, a preview, it actually didn't do that previously. This is new in 2015, I don't remember seeing this. So see here we get exactly what we want. We could do different mountains. We could do mountains on the side of mountains to give it kind of like a lump sided effect. You know, like kind of reminds me of like the Jurassic Park game I used to play when I was a kid. Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, well, it's like, well, you know, I want to be able to really get in here and modify this. 
So we have something for that. Similar to uh, painters, painters really would really like this option. This is called the Sculpt Geometry Tool, and the key button is right here in the polygon, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the polygon toolbox. It's a Sculpt Geometry Tool. And what this allows us to do is do a lot of different things here. So push, pull, blah, 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 auto smooth. So let's go ahead and let's do like a smoothing. See, now you can see that it's smoothing, but it's kind of already smoothed out. So let's do like a pull, and we're going to have auto smooth. And what we could do is we could do the radius the same way. You hold B and stuff. Oh, I need to go into... There we go. You need to go into object mode. In order to do this, you don't want to be messing around with the vertices or whatever. So now I could get in here and really, you know, and this has got auto smoothed on. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more smooth strength. So now that looks really, really good. And then a lot of things that we're going to be using is the smooth option. So yeah, so you want to try to get rid of any of the sharp polygons like you see right here and up top there. We So just knock them flat. See this edge there, not really natural. There you go, it's a little better. Now you see that we don't really have any super rough edges except for maybe here at the top. Now that looks a little bit better, and we could we could also drop this a little bit more, so we could get in there and do some more delicate work. So there you go. Now we kind of got rid of a lot of the rough edges. Very very good. All right, so those are a couple tools. Now of course you could take a look at all these other things. You know, relax, pinch, erase, or whatever that is. Now let's go ahead and talk about um, how to actually add de how to actually add detail to this. So the biggest thing that you'll uh, want to see is something like uh, cutting edges. So what we could do here is you go into this guy, which is a multi-cut tool, which is new for 2015. That's why it's got the green bracket around it, and you could actually go in and interactively cut the actual faces right and it's cutting edges and it's adding vertexes to the edges as well and you could do any sort of thing that you want to do you know but it doesn't want me to so as you see there now we have if you go back into the vertices you'll see that we have new vertices in each of these locations I guess soft select turned itself off. So now we got new vertices in there just in case we want to add different kinds of um, you know smoothness or whatever. If we want to add more precision. So that's that's gonna be it's gonna come and really um, be really important when we start messing around with faces, especially when you don't want to do this. So this guy right here is the um, edge loop or or uh, put a ring so see what happens is that when you do insert edge loop you select an edge which is the line that my cursor is over right and it will go in between that edge between the two bounding edges from the left and the right but it'll add a whole new line for the whole thing so for example if I wanted to add you know subdivisions for each part I could do so. So this is how you could add. Um, this is how you could add detail to uh, surrounding uh, to anything that you want to highly modify. So go ahead and mess around with uh, these these uh, different types of tools. So we have the sculpt geometry tool. We have the uh, cut um, cut faces. You probably don't want to do either of these. You just want to manipulate it at the beginning to do what you want it to do. Actually, this isn't even the smooth mode, so let's see. So this is 
So this is a one and then this is three. So it looks very, very good smooth. Let's go ahead and show a little bit of what more of the smoothing options would be. So here we got smooth, smooth strength. And I want to go back and do object mode. And see here, we got a little bit of problems. I mean, it's still, still technically a quad, but And then we go back in here and actually do a pull and actually pull the mountain, create a mountain. More of a dynamic way to create environments, right? So this is big for the environmental artists and uh, well, I mean, everybody, for whatever you want to do, it's got to be some sort of environment, not unless you have, you know, I mean, even just a box, you need to be able to design and design and do stuff like this. So these are these are very, very important um, aspects. The soft select is huge. Um, the sculpt geometry, I use a little bit, not too much. Um, and the insert edge loop and the cut faces are very very important those you will be using a lot especially uh, the the insert edge loop and as well as the the multi cut tool is what you want to use when you want to get down there and the specifics and then um, the insert edge loop is what you want to do when you want to just ring the whole thing and just add more um, you add more detail in a specific area you know it's like for example, the middle of the face, right? I would insert a whole bunch of edge loops for the middle of the face in order to get all that detail. While the side of the face, not too much detail is needed for the example of a face. Hmm, that's basically it that I wanted to talk about here. So just wanted to go over um, a couple more of those ideas and do a little bit of uh, surface modeling with vertexes and soft select as those are going to be very big as we move on. And then uh, so next tutorial we'll, we'll be moving into um, different polygon modeling stuff. I'll come up with something that will model. But yeah, so just go ahead and keep working on this. Uh, this um, uh, an environment, you know, some sort of landscape, and then um, maybe we'll maybe we'll when we go over the rendering engine, I'll uh, render that um, plane inside of our environment. So, whatever environment you have, uh, save it, and uh, we'll go over something like it later. All right, anything else I want to go over? Nope, that seems like it's that's it. All right, so I just wanted to get this quick tutorial in. Um, sorry about being missing on a couple tutorials. Uh, I've been on vacation and something's going on with YouTube. YouTube won't let me sign in for the last couple days. All right, so uh, this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials. I like thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it in this series and other series as well. If you have any questions, email me. Once I get the uh, reference book, it will be in the description, and I will see you guys. In the next video, thanks for watching. Peace. Take it easy.